guys all right so here's just a quick video showing you how i would actually uh, go ahead and do these these pattern overlays now this is just something i discovered by chance i was just playing around in cinema 4d and i noticed that uh, depending on the actual layer structure if you had it in a certain way it would react and give you certain results so having the layer structure in the correct order is really important to get what you see over here so you can see i basically I took one of my materials and combined it with a opacity material. So this usually works with uh, any of my opacity materials. So any material that utilizes this opacity channel and has transparency, we can actually combine it with other materials. So you can see uh, we've got this result. Here was another result as well. We took like this diamond pattern and it overlaid it and put on another material, uh, which I thought was really, really interesting. So again, I'm doing this. I'm doing this in Cinema 4D. I don't know if you can control the layer structure in other 3D programs like 3D Studio Max or Maya, or even with other um, render packages. Actually, wait, the render package doesn't matter. I think it's the program. As long as you guys can control the layer structure, you should be able to do this. Now you can do this in Substance Painter as well, and it's also dependent on layer structure. So in Substance Painter, if there's another material on top of another material those materials tend to blend together and uh, they combine those properties to create a completely new material so you can do this in cinema 4d as well so i'm going to open up cinema 4d and uh, here's my cloth material ball so for this demonstration i'm going to be combining uh, let's see what material we have we have over here a fabric 31 which is this chenal upholstery 2 I'll be dragging that on here and now the really important thing we need to take notice of is yeah in uh, the section over here where my object is uh, the layer structure is important so you can see over here we can have multiple layers on top of each other so I'm going to go ahead and let's actually bring in uh, one of my opacity layers so let's do it with this exact same one that I used in this example because it has like the most open space on it as well so like i said this basically acts as a pattern pattern overlay and i just discovered this by chance which i thought is really cool and i just wanted to share it with you guys uh, in case you wanted to use these opacity layers in another in another way uh, you can do that just so i'm dragging that make sure i got that on glossy let me bring in a normal and let me bring in an opacity okay there we go so let me bring up the render oh this material is actually missing its images so I need to drag these in as well so I was going to do channel upholstery 31 so just dragging the base dragging the roughness and then dragging the normal all right so currently you can see there's just one layer or one material on this image but I can drag another one on top of it so if I drag my uh, what you call it my opacity material You'll see now if I let this, if I just resend this to Octane Render, it's actually going to overlay this opacity on top of this material to give me a completely new material. There we go. And now the layer structure is really important because if I drag, like let's say if I drag the opacity first and then I dragged this Sheena upholstery, it won't work. You'll see if I change the order over here, if I change that back at this render again, Basically, this material is going to override that opacity. So the opacity, I think because some areas are transparent, um, it just does something with the material to allow certain areas to still be visible. Oh, and my octane just crashed. <laughs> okay. So over here, I'm just trying another uh, one of these opacity materials. And this is actually one of the bonus uh, materials that comes with the part two fabric pack. And you can see, even if this, this mask over here is white, right? Actually, this material, uh, this opacity material is white. So whatever color 
this was uh, it's actually basically projecting that on top of this material so now you can see we've still got that underlying material there and then we've got this on top so now instead of it being a opacity and you know open kind of like lace or mesh pattern like this it becomes an enclosed material that's combining that previous material with my opacity material so it's just a way to create more complex materials which I think is really really cool and again this is just the layer structure make sure your opacity material is always in front of the other material that you want to combine it with because if this is in front of the opacity it's just going to override that okay so quick tip maybe you guys will find this useful maybe you want to use my opacity layers with other materials as overlays then you guys can do that and it's really simple and I hope that you guys can also do this in other programs where you can control the layer structure of the materials like this. Alright.